and welcome back. Hey, how are you? How's it going? For today's video, I thought I'd go ahead and try out something new, literally. So I have seen this product all around social media, Instagram specifically, because you know, I'm on there a lot. I see it pop up every single time. So I saw it enough times to become curious about it. And well, long story short, I am trying it out today. So I thought today I would go ahead and answer the questions of is this product really flawless? Does it really have that coverage? Does it make you look natural? What is up with this product? And if you couldn't already tell what I am talking about with either the description or by the title, today I thought I'd go ahead and try out the Il Maquillage Foundation and basically see if I like it or not. And if you guys are also curious and wanting to know if this foundation actually works or not, I will be trying it for you. So if that's something you're interested in seeing today, go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up right now and keep on watching. So I have the little packaging right here, the small little black box, and then right on the fold says Il Maquillage New York. I decided to go ahead and try both the primer and the foundation. And I will also be using Debbie's concealer as well so she got the foundation and the concealer I got the foundation and the primer so we basically thought we would try each out and then kind of share it within each other so I have the primer the foundation and the concealer so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the foundation first because that is initially what we are trying today what we're all curious about so here it is this is the packaging for it it's a cute little box has a little black cover rest of it is white has the brand name right here on the fold i like i really like that they have the name on the fold i think that's pretty cute but anyways this is the il maquillage woke up like this flawless base foundation you see what she looks like and then it has this very dramatic opening kind of like it's a little special potion or something but do you guys see that dramaticness here let me do it again like look at that guys bam that's like whoa that like special bottle of potion that everybody just wants to get their hands on that is what this opening feels like to me so anyways when we open it up it has a little saying on the top so it says dramatic pause please so go ahead clap it up give the attention to the foundation cheer your way on we will wait Okay, moving on. So then, looking at the actual bottle, this is what we are working with. So it actually is a legit bottle. It isn't like a little mini kind of sample bottle thing. It is the real deal. Once again, brand name on the front. The shade I got is 60. And then right on the back, it says, Woke up like this flawless base foundation. So, pretty interesting guys. Also, please don't mind my nails. I haven't painted them. So sorry if you can't stand the chipped nails. I can't either, but um, we're kind of going with it. So, moving forward. I then have the primer, which has its own little packaging as well. Little black and silver action going on here. This is the Il Maquillage No Filter Poreless Base Smoothing Primer. And it also doesn't have a dramatic opening like the foundation. This one is just a little regular box opening but the look itself is very unique this actually reminds me of a perfume bottle but it's actually primer and it has a little pump so pretty cute pretty fancy if you ask me then jumping into the concealer this is the il maquillage fuck i'm flawless multi-use perfecting concealer and this one is what shade is this one eight i believe and this is what it looks like okay so it actually has its own little window to see the shade and then right on the bottom has the fuck i'm flawless please don't focus on me and then coming around il maquillage so i really like that each of of the products have their own little unique look I think that's so freaking cool you can see like the creativity that they really put in this product but of course it's not the outside of the product that matters it is whether the actual products work or not which is what we're gonna find out today so 
let's get into it okay so starting off i'm gonna go ahead and jump in with the primer I'm gonna get my face started because of course i am very curious to see if this foundation actually works i've seen the clips and everything so i feel like it will but i just want to make sure you know so jumping in with the primer i'm just gonna put some on my finger if it'll let me hello come on hello primer Oh, I hear it. It's coming. Ooh. Do you guys see that? That looks like straight up gel. That actually looks pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I have no idea what I was trying to say about that. Sorry, guys. Anyways, so usually when I put primer on, I tend to put it around my nose area and like up here as well. I guess that's what they call like the T zone because that's pretty. Whoa. Just with that much that I put on, it actually put out quite a lot and feels really soft. I, I like it. This feels so smooth. What the heck? Oh my goodness. That feels so soft. You guys have no idea. Wow. I am already impressed. Like this primer feels so good. I think I'm obsessing a little too much with how soft it feels. Like it just feels so smooth. I don't, whoa. Okay. I think that about covers it. What was that? I think I did like what? two pumps of that thing and with the amount that I gave out and how it felt like my my face feels already amazing so next step guys let's get it okay the moment we've all been waiting for is the foundation so foundation what you got for me let's see are there any special instructions that I need to know about before putting it on like nothing okay so about the foundation it says Oh, I don't even know if I said that. I got the matte finish. <laughs> so it says... The formula offers a unique combination of medium to high coverage and a super comfortable weightless feeling. The ultra fluid and easy to blend texture applies effortlessly... <laughs> Hello? Effortlessly and enables a buildable coverage to suit all needs. Okay, fair enough. So, looks like this foundation should do the trick to cover up any flaws that you got going on on your face. So, not even gonna lie, I don't even know how to apply this thing, like pump wise, cause if you guys been following me for a while, you guys know that the foundation that I use is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And that one, you basically just pour it out onto the palm of your hand and then apply it from there. This one has a pump, so I have no idea. <laughs> I'm supposed to shake it. I'm glad I read the box. I probably wouldn't have. <laughs> So I think I'm just gonna apply it right to my face and then go from there. And then I'll just build it up if need be. Whoa, that is very little. <laughs> I can see what they mean about it looking natural. This doesn't look heavy at all. Wow. I I am shooketh. That was only one quarter of my face and wow. I mean it is. I think I want to say it is a little light, but I'm not too sure yet. Let me finish putting it on and then we'll discuss. I think I can agree with the whole lightweight look on things. Wow. I mean, it probably doesn't look too wow because I did only put a little bit. I think I may have to build it up just a tad bit. So um, let's do that. But overall, I mean, compared to this and my natural, actual like skin, not too bad. I don't think. Hmm. I'll just go over that. I don't know, just add a little more. Oh, 
Also, please don't take me too seriously with this review. This is kind of a fun thing that I wanted to do, but I'm not like an actual makeup guru, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. Um, I just really wanted to try this foundation. So yeah, just wanted to put that out there. It smells really good too. It smells fancy. I'll just do the rest with my beauty blender. I think that's faster. I just want to be professional with the brush, okay? I see all these people putting it on with the foundation brush, but truth is I don't really know how to use that foundation brush too well. So I'm just gonna blend it in with my beauty blender instead. But I mean, still guys, like, wow. I still think it is light though, but it's probably me. I don't know. I'll check it after. Wow. So far so good, I think. I think the shade does kind of match me. Like it said. I mean, I don't know, I was kind of confused on the whole like quiz because the skin shades just looked so similar. <laughs> it was hard to decide. I had to like really, really look at the shades, like actually like look at the shades clearly to see which is which. But I mean, this don't look that bad. I'm not mad. Okay. Okay, I see you. Okay, moving on to the concealer. I don't know if Fuck I'm Flawless is the actual name of the shade or if that's just what they're calling the concealer. Because as I mentioned before, I thought that Woke Up Like This was the shade of the foundation, but it's just the name of the foundation not the actual shade so you know what let me look that up real quick because i i need confirmation okay so it looks like it's just the name of the concealer but not the actual shade so anyways it's shade number eight so let's try this baby out let's see if it'll get rid of the little bags that i have and other flaws and stuff oh i think this is is this darker than the actual foundation that I have, because if it is, that's gonna suck. To do a little tad bit, nose. Will it cover the pimples that I have? Probably not, but it doesn't hurt to try. I don't even think it's picking up any product. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. Don't think that it's gonna cover the pimples, but I mean, it's worth a shot, right? This is what we're trying. Oh, that looks like I have a big old blob on my chin. <laughs> Again, still looks pretty natural. Huh? I don't know. Well, I'm really liking it so far, guys. You guys have no idea. Or maybe you do. Maybe you've tried it already and you're just trying to see how I do on reviewing things. Who knows? Okay, that didn't do anything to pimples. So, it's not pimple proof. That's for sure. <laughs> don't take me too seriously, guys, about the whole pimple thing. Just being a little silly. I really don't care if my pimples peep through, but I mean, if this does the trick at hiding them a little bit, I mean, why not try it out, you know? Well, concealer looks like it's kind of just staying there, so that's fun. Why are you just staying there? I don't get it. Did I do it? Did I blend it in correctly? I think so. Did I do it? I did it! Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I can still kind of see the bags that I have. So I don't think the concealer did much. I probably just blended out too much that it legit blended in and said goodbye. Okay, I think we're blended out. I'm a little confused about the concealer because it didn't really cover my under eyes. I can still kind of see them. I mean, it covered it, but like barely covered it. I can still see them. Or it's probably just me. Am I tripping or is there still under eyes? You guys let me know because <laughs> I really can't tell. Because here in the mirror, I can still kind of see like my little bags, but then on the camera, I see something else. I don't see them much, so 
is my camera lying to me or does this concealer actually work and I'm trying to find all possible ways to deny it. I don't know. Let me know because this is freaking confusing. <laughs> okay, so face is set with primer, foundation, and concealer. This is how we are looking so far. What do you guys think about it? Does it look different from the Maybelline foundation that I normally use? Or does it still kind of look like I am wearing foundation? Does it look heavy? Does it look light? Because to me, it feels freaking light as heck. It feels like I have nothing on. To me, it kind of looks like I have nothing on. Like, if it looks like I have nothing on, then it's probably working. Because isn't that the whole spiel about this product? That it's supposed to look like I don't have makeup on? I don't know. So I went off camera to go ahead and do the rest of my face, but basically this is the end result of today's video. Foundation looks pretty neat. I am actually so impressed at how light my face feels. Usually when I put foundation on, I instantly feel so tired afterwards because it feels like I just slapped on like a big old layer onto my face. But this foundation feels the exact opposite. I still feel pretty awake right now. Even after doing all of this, I feel light, like I don't even have anything on. I'm just wild right now. The shade overall ended up blending well with my actual skin tone. It's just, it's a good time right now. I'm amazed, guys. I, I don't even know what to say. Like, this is freaking crazy, guys. So, to answer the questions, is it really flawless? I mean, I think so. I like to think so. Is it natural? Absolutely. Once again, it just, it feels like this is just me and I don't have like an extra layer slapped onto my face. It doesn't feel like a mask, we'll put it that way. It doesn't feel like a mask or look like one, despite everything else that I have on my face, of course. <laughs> Coverage wise, I think it did a pretty decent job. Obviously, it's not gonna make the pimples go away. I mean, for that, you would need like probably an extra, extra full coverage foundation, but it does the job well at getting rid of some flaws that you really don't want to see. And then the concealer obviously helps out with it too, which is freaking incredible. It's like a combo that you have together does the job perfectly well and again going back to the primer even the primer was freaking cool like the application it felt so smooth just putting it onto my face I love the whole gel like look that was probably the fun part for me was seeing how clear it was and so gel like I don't know for some reason it was just really fun and then the smooth application just added onto it and it just made it even more exciting. But anyways, here's a close-up of the foundation. What do we think about it? Do we agree? Do we disagree with it? What's in your guys' minds? Go ahead and comment down below. I would really love to know your guys' thoughts on this foundation and everything else involved. And along with that, we're gonna go ahead and end today's video right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and throw me a big ol' thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Comment down below your thoughts of how this foundation looks to you. What are your guys' thoughts, opinions on it? Do we like it? Do we dislike it? Do we agree with what everyone has been saying about it? Do we disagree? Is it just like any other foundation? Tell me what is in your mind, guys. I would love to read your guys' comments and maybe possibly discuss it with you guys. So make sure those post notifications are turned on so you guys know exactly when I post my videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because when I am not here, I am over there. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!